Hi everyone and welcome back to Mary's Deals and Steals and have I got some items to show you that is going on at the Dollar General with the clearance event happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For those of you who don't know, there is an additional 50% off red dot and green dot items at Dollar General Friday, Saturday, and Sunday along with the POG items which those are the items on the shelf with the yellow sticker. Those are an additional 50% off. So when I hit Dollar General this morning, I was on an agenda and it was for these items here. I was, oops, upside down. I was able to pick these up for 10 cents and I'm just gonna briefly just show you. When I get home, I'll break it all down and then I was able to pick these up for 50 cents, okay? And along with that, there was some L'Oreal that I picked up and the digital attached, so it was just awesome. There is some paper product, so I can't wait to show you. I'm also going to add an additional slide at the end to show you what paper products and other items. There's some Crest toothpaste, there's some Colgate, just uh, there's pretty good little deals out there along with some digital coupons that can make for a good out of pocket and with your five off of 25. So let me get uh, all situated and uh, set those items up and show you my receipts. So you guys just give me a minute. Okay, everyone, so I'm back home, and I'm going to try to make this as short as possible and break it down for you guys. However, if you have any comments or questions, drop it down below, and don't forget, I'm going to add a slide at the end of the video to kind of show you the barcodes and some other items, additional items and paper goods that are on sale. Um, the Scott's Paper Towels, I ended up paying $3.50 per package. Yes, $3.50 for these 12 rows of Scott's Paper Towels. I wasn't going to pass it up. They had to do a price override on those. Now, I don't know if it's a discontinued item. Let me see if I can find the receipt. Crap. Okay, here it is. Okay. They are, they did a price override for $5 and then $5 again and that $2 digital attached. Therefore, they were 11 $2 digital making it, um, let's see, 11 Okay, so making it nine dollars so that would have been a little bit oh 450 instead of 350 i apologize so four dollars and fifty cents i still don't think it was a bad deal and i was going to pass it up along with this receipt i ended up picking up a tote and there you go there's the tote the totes are on sale for 50 percent off so just fyi i ended up picking up quite a bit of other stuff but i also wanted to wait till tomorrow to add my five off of 25. However, sometimes you gotta grab some things when you see them because you're not gonna find them the next day. Now, that's just my opinion. So, you know, if you guys wanna wait till tomorrow, that's great. The whole blends, I ended up buy, uh, buying those on several of them on my different accounts. So I did separate transactions. So I ended up paying nine cents for a set of the whole blends. The conditioner is $1.40. And the shampoo's $1.69, that dollar attached with the $1.40, and the $2 attached with the shampoo. And therefore, I ended up paying $0.09 cents out of pocket. I did that several times, okay? So that is one of the receipts right there. So I'm not going to show you every one of the receipts because, like I said, I did t different transaction. The Johnson's uh, baby products, I paid $0.50 cents a piece for each one. I did them in separate transactions because of just, just to be careful with the coupon, you know, not wanting to overuse them. And here you go. I used this manufactured coupon that we got. I took what I found. I did not want to lose out on those. The Crest, I could have waited. I was a little upset about that. I ended up paying $1.70. Those are... Not a dollar seventy. Sorry, take it back. They're a dollar seventy, and I ended up paying seventy seventy cents per package because the dollar digital attached. I could have waited till tomorrow, but however, it I took it. There you go. So um, let's see. There's the crest. Oh, never mind. It was a dollar thirty-five. Apologize. I paid thirty-five cents for it. My bad. Awesome. Even better. Yay. So there you go. A dollar thirty-five. That's how much it rung up. They didn't have to do price overrides, only on the toilet tissue. And then the Glade candles, I paid $1.35 for that. No coupons. I just love the Glade candles, and I picked those up. Um, there might have been some other cheaper ones, so just FYI. The L'Oreal, I think, was a dollar in, let's see, it's right here in this receipt, $2.25. So $2.25 is, what, $4.50 for both of them. And then with the $3 digital, it did attach. Here's the receipt. There's the $3 digital. You see that? So I ended up paying, what, uh, $4.50. Take away the $3. It leaves you $1.50. 
So 75 cents per the Lori L5, not bad. These are like $5 retail, so pretty good item. I did a gain deal, so before you go any further, I cannot find gain anywhere in any of my local stores. So where I went, I found some gain, and they allowed me to, to use more than one or two coupons. One of them was a digital, and the other ones were paper. I ended up paying $3.85. Sometimes you snooze, you lose, so I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. So... All right, the pine saw, it was 75 cents or 80 cents, something like that. Anywho, and some things I do want to mention to you, um, be careful with your digitals that do not attach. I picked up the Scott's Bright thinking that for $1.35 that a dollar was going to attach to it and it did not. So be very careful with those. Uh, the Gillette Daisies as well. These are $2.25. So my assumption was that the $3 was going to work, right? Well, no. Fail. So be careful with that. I had voided several transactions and I just didn't want to void another one for them. Bless their heart. These items I just picked up because I needed them and for my household and at 70 cents who can't beat that this one i ended up paying a little bit more some more l'oreal uh or garnier hope blends a tote um i've got a mess down here i'm fixing to start putting everything up so that is my clearance uh, dollar general clearance couponing haul i will go back and do some more tomorrow one of the managers saved some stuff for me and so that i can use my five off of 25 some things that i needed um I'm going to add a clip, don't forget, and if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Please, please, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and as always, happy couponing and happy savings, guys. So, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.